Well, you can imagine my surprise when Max came in and asked me to produce collaborators for him. I was like, wow, easy cowboy. I am not a producer. So Max looked me in the eye and said, Hugh, I don't want you to produce, I want you to create. And I think that alone says more about the man than any biography or documentary ever could. I actually asked an audience member that question after the show. They said it was a political satire set in communist Russia right before the onset of the purges, charting the inner struggles of one of the Soviet Union's most prolific writers, Mikhail Bulgakov. Now, I don't know where they got that from. Uh, I would say it's more of a tale of jealousy, envy, a happiness, gluttony, spirituality, fear, loathing, integrity. gone mad. I mean, if you can't make jokes about Stalin killing millions of peasants for not doing their jobs properly, what can you make jokes about? It is funny. It's fucking hilarious. I don't know where you've heard those rumours. Was it Stubbs? Well, you can tell him to fuck off. Collaborators is the funniest play about Stalin I've ever seen. I haven't done much direction since Collaborators. Some people will say I didn't do much directing at the time. Those people are cruel people. I always say that space is for astronauts. Yes, it was a small stage, but that's why they only cast small actors. Mm. Yes and no. We'd get disapproving glances if we wore heels to rehearsals or took long lunch breaks, but ultimately, what could they do? I can't grow any smaller. That's just not a reasonable demand to make of an amateur actor like myself. One of the things that not many people are aware of is that there weren't many women in Russia at the time. There never have been. And the ones that were around were dull and some didn't really know how to speak properly. It was definitely okay at the beginning. At the auditions they were both really charming. But as rehearsals went on, uh, Max started to insist on one-on-one -on -one sessions late at night, which I always thought was strange, seeing as I only had ten lines. I was late once to rehearsals. Oh, I know there's no excuse for that, but I just received some uh, particularly bad medical news. Anyway, they took me outside, and I uh, can't remember which one, I think it was Hugh, uh, who pulled out a bread knife and told me if I was ever late again, he'd cut me in two, like a panini. I reckon all the fame got to his head. There's no doubt he's still alive somewhere, probably in Thailand, living in a beach hut with a local prostitute, sipping on pina coladas. Am I calling him a sex pest? I think you'll find that slander, and I'm not going to be drawn into that question. Sorry. Next question. Oh, I don't know. How much was it? Six quid. Uh, probably not. No? No. God, no! No. Well, I can't say no, can I? <laughs> yeah.